All right, so in this brief video, I'm going to show you how uh, to simplify square roots by rewriting them in uh, simplest radical form. All right, so basically what you want to do, take the number under your radical, you want to find two factors of that number, and one of those factors has to, have, has to be a perfect square. So I've listed the perfect squares over here, the first 12 perfect squares, all right? And so when you're finding your factors, you want one of those factors to be a perfect square, and then you take the square root of it, and you leave your other factor under the radical. So let's try these three, all right? So I have the square root of 40. I want to find two factors of 40, and one has to be a perfect square. The only one up here is 4. And keep in mind that we have to choose the highest perfect square. Otherwise, we're going to be left with another factor underneath that has another perfect square, or another number underneath the radical that has another perfect square. All right, so like right here, I want to take the square root of the, uh, the perfect square. So the square root of 4 is 2. And then I leave my 10 or the imperfect square under the radical. And that is it. All right. Let's try this one. Uh, the square root of 300. Easiest thing to do if you have anything hundreds, the perfect square is going to be 100. So if I break these up or break the 300 up into 100 times 3, I take the square root of 100 because that's my perfect square. The square root of 100 is 10. And I leave my three under the radical, and I've rewritten this problem in simplest radical form, all right? Let's look at the square root of 48. So, some students may look at this and say, okay, I could use um, four. Let's see what happens with four. Four times 12 gives me 48, right? If I take the square root of four, I get two square root of 12, all right? But if you take a closer look at that 12, you still have two factors, and one of those factors is a perfect square. So you have to choose the highest perfect square, all right? Because you're going to have to um, do it twice. So factors of 12, one is a perfect square, 4 times 3, all right? And the square root of 4 is 2, so I have to bring another 2 on the outside here. And so my answer is, or my simplest radical form is four times the square root of three. So if you don't choose the highest perfect square, always make sure to look under your radical and see if you have a number there that has um, perfect squares or that has factors that are perfect squares, all right? What other number could we have chosen? Because we still end up with the same answer it's just more work, all right? So, two other factors that we could have used was 16 times three. 16 times three does in fact give me 48. And what's the square root of 16? It is four. And I bring that out, leave my three under the radical, and I get the same answer. So as you can see, there are more than one perfect square that are factors of some of the, of the numbers. So just always check to make sure that under your radical, that number that you, that you see there does not have um, any factors that are perfect squares. All right. So we've written all of these square roots in simplest radical form. All right. So thank you for learning with me.